All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Ruger Mark I air pistol, pellet pistol. Uh, this is what I have in my house or in my trailer, depends where I'm at. I always have it with me, like, under my bed or something. I live in a county, you know, as all, we all know, all the violence is getting worse in the world. As that happens, weapons are becoming less available. You know, they're being banned everywhere or restricted where I live firearms are illegal county I'm not gonna say where they're probably gonna come looking for me the cops you know but even just for this shit you know but this is a spring assisted knife I'll show you how that works there's a little lever here as you can see just press that down the blade pops up I need to tighten this because it's a little loose but here it is. It's called a Ruger Mark I. It has fiber optic sights. This is a caulking aid. I thought it was a silencer at first, but yeah, it's a caulking aid so you can caulk the barrel. It's a break barrel pistol. I use Crossman pointed hunting pellets. These are 177 caliber full metal jackets. Um, I keep them in this old prescription bottle I found. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's a lot in here. There's like 300, maybe more. But yeah, those are my weapons I keep on in my house or in my trailer. Depends where I'm at. This is rated at about 500 feet per second with lead pellets. If you get some alloy pellets, it's rated at about 600 feet per second. So 100 extra feet per second. Now this particular modder does have some recoil. It does recoil a bit. Um, but it's not much. You know, if you're... I, I weigh 200 pounds. I'm close to 6 feet tall. You know, it's not an issue for me. I can handle that recoil. Um... Also, I lift weights, so, you know, that helps with the recoil management. But anyways, here it is, the other side. You can see serial 4.5 millimeter pellet has a serial number. But yeah, I'm going to do a shooting test of this gun later on in the week. So, yeah, thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.